Uh, audit the audit. Oh! Sorry, I don't know why I'm so on edge today. If it's better, I'll skip it. What? Chat, look behind you. Ah, yeah, you clap. Welcome to Audit the Audit, where we sort out the who and what and the right and wrong of police interactions. This episode covers traffic stops, reasonable suspicion, and the First Amendment, and is brought to us by Lackluster's channel. Be Guys, sure what is the First Amendment? Check out the description below and give them the credit that they deserve. On February 13th, 2022, former New Yorker Matthew Cardew was attempting to return to his Pasco County, Florida home when he encountered a construction crew blocking the entrance to his neighborhood. He followed the detour around to the other side of his neighborhood, but found that the only other point of entry was partially blocked by a cruiser from the freedom of speech press protest um, of worship and assembly I thought the assembly is whenever you you get um uh, the Pasco County Sheriff's Office. Like, oh, he's put it together. The point. Yeah, According to Mr. Cardew, he stopped at the intersection and used his turn signal to communicate his intention to turn into the neighborhood. But Deputy LaPointe did not respond. Mr. Cardew then stopped next to the police vehicle, with no reaction from Deputy LaPointe, before continuing to drive past the cruiser. Deputy LaPointe then flashed his siren, and Mr. Cardew stopped and rolled down his window while Deputy LaPointe approached. You decide to go right through so the people, whole road. So people that can't live here, that live here can go up there? Don't you think you should probably stop and explain, hey, listen, I gotta go to a certain area? Uh, is look, look. Look at it. We've seen this. We, we've seen this. Dude. Dude. Walked off. This video came out two days ago. I wasn't even live. You fucking moron. I wasn't even live, dude. At a certain point, you'd be a dead end anyway. Stop, darling. Yeah, but you, you went right past All the right, whole thing. All right, what are we doing here? Where's your house? Right up there on Kitten Trail. Okay, where? See the curve? Yes. Just past the curve on the left. Is it before? Is it north of Little Beat Court? Yes. Okay. I just drove all the way around to get here. Okay. Well, I don't know that. Well, I'm explaining it to you now. I know. But Can you... I go or not? Yeah. Get the hell out. Thank you. See you later. Confused as to why some trash ass mod timed me out. Catch me outside, Mom. Get back in your car. Get back in your car right now. I'm telling you right now, get back in your car. Are you gonna shoot me? You come out of your car in a traffic stop, you offer you obviously it's a dangerous situation. Get back in your car. Settle down. If you can't handle the get job, get back go in your goddamn car. <laughs> After Deputy LaPointe initiates a second traffic stop, Mr. Cardew pulls over and steps out of his vehicle. Deputy LaPointe then exits his cruiser and orders Mr. Cardew to get back inside his car. As we have mentioned in many other episodes of ATA, the Supreme Court has unequivocally established that police officers can order individuals to step out of a vehicle during a traffic stop to preserve officer safety. This authority extends beyond orders to exit a vehicle, and in general, individuals must comply with instructions from officers attempting to maintain maintain control of the traffic stop. While exiting your vehicle after being pulled over is not illegal, officers typically view such actions as aggressive, suspicious, and a threat to their safety. Additionally, when a citizen steps out onto the road during a traffic stop, oncoming traffic Pop can pose friend. a threat to their own safety as well. For these reasons, while Mr. Cardew did not break the law by getting out of his car, a court would almost certainly determine that Deputy LaPont was within his authority yeah. to order him to get back into the vehicle. I mean, I, I think it's just... I think this comes without any counter -argument. License, registration, insurance. What'd you stop me for? License, registration, you stop me and for? insurance. What'd you stop me for? License, reason for the stop. You'll find out as soon as I have your information. Supervisor. You'll find out as soon as I have your information. And I'll, and I'll give you it as soon as I get a supervisor. So you're failing, to, so this, you're failing to identify yourself identify. at a traffic stop? I'm not failing to identify at a traffic stop. Okay. I give you all you want. You're free. I have I body cam since yeah, I stopped you in the first place. It doesn't disappear. It's, it's yeah. public record. I know it's public record. License, registration, and insurance. What's the reason for the stop? You fail to yield to a police barricade. You screech in your tires as you leave. You're driving fast. 
You're obviously frustrated. Yes. So I'm asking for your license, your registration, and insurance on a lawful legal stop. Mr. Cardew refuses to provide his license, registration, and proof of insurance to Deputy LaPointe and instead requests a supervisor. And Deputy LaPointe argues that Mr. Cardew was required to identify himself because the traffic stop was lawful. Under Section 322.15 of the Florida Statutes, drivers must have their license in their immediate possession at all times when operating a motor vehicle and Welcome must present it, quote, Love upon the demand and of a law enforcement out. officer. Fair Nevertheless, enough. officers cannot lawfully stop a vehicle without at least reasonable suspicion of a traffic offense or crime. Here, Deputy LaPointe claims that he stopped Mr. Cardew because he failed to yield to a police barricade, screeched his tires, drove fast, and was, quote, obviously frustrated. According to Section 316.078 of the Florida Statutes, quote, it is unlawful to drive around any barricade erected for the purpose of closing any section of a public street or highway to traffic during the construction or repair thereof, or to drive over such section of public street or highway until again thrown open to public traffic. And, while it is arguable that Mr. Cardew violated this statute when he drove past Deputy LaPointe's vehicle, Deputy LaPointe had already stopped Mr. Cardew about this issue and informed him he was free to drive home. Nonetheless, it is possible that a court would conclude that Deputy LaPointe had reasonable suspicion to detain Mr. Cardew based on his aggressive driving. Section 316.154 of the Florida statute, guys, guys, which pro- Guys, guys, who did I talk to? Guys, I think it was an RP cop, it was an action cop. Didn't he- did he say that, like, um, uh, yeah, I don't remember what he said, actually. Prohibits improperly starting a vehicle states that, quote, no person shall and start Donnie, a vehicle yeah. which is stopped, standing, or parked, unless and until such... I feel like you go, if you go to court for why you were stopped initially, right, and there is, like, some, some stuff that you kind of did or whatever, I feel like you're just going to get rolled. I, I, maybe I'm wrong about this, though. I, I, I think, I think, if... If you say, oh, whatever happens next doesn't matter because of why I got stopped, they will pull some whatever shit in court and you're going to get rolled. Movement can be made with reasonable safety. In the 2002 case of Donaldson versus State, the 4th District Court of Appeal of Florida concluded that an officer did not have reasonable safety. No, I'm pretty sure they, they could be like, oh, dude, uh, I thought his back left light was out when it wasn't. So he can still do a stop. Technically, which that just an sucks, but it's kind of like this statute, despite the fact that the officer testified that the vehicle's tires were squealing because the officer did not see the defendant's vehicle start from a stopped position. However, in reaching this decision, the court did not invalidate the state's argument that starting and driving a vehicle at such a rate of speed so as to cause the tires to squeal violated this statute. And in the 2011 case of State versus Rudder, the Supreme Court of Vermont distinguished this decision from a case where the officer did observe an individual stop and start their vehicle. Well, the I don't get it. The wait, officer had wait. Reasonable so you're not allowed to accelerate fast even though you're not bringing the speed limit? So if you want to, you're not, you can't accelerate fast suspicion that a driver violated a similar vermont statute when he quote unquote peeled out with his tires spinning and his engine revving if a florida court applied similar logic to this situation it is likely it would hold that deputy lapont had reasonable suspicion to stop mr cardew because he observed mr cardew start his vehicle from a stopped position in a manner that caused his tires to squeal Okay. And you're failing to and provide I'm, any identification. I'm not failing to provide. I'll okay, it. then hand it to me. All right, can I request a supervisor before I hand it to you? You can hand me the information first before you f start failing to provide your identification. Supervisor, please. You do realize that failing to provide identification is arrestable. Oh, cops, man. Did you get picked on as a kid? Oh, well, you got it picked on people. Listen, I'm not going to feed into your bullshit. Oh, I know so, you're not going to feed into the bullshit. Talk all you want, it really means nothing to me. Uh, I don't know. I don't know when this is good, Bill, but... Okay. Go have fun. November 2021, so you are you don't have an an insurance card that's updated. Okay, try this one. I'll give you, like, six of them. You okay. Want How about the right yeah. one? How about... Yeah, all the information is the same. This one's May 2021. That one's November 2021. All right, is it electronic? I'll give you the opportunity to pull up the digital one. Okay, just, just write it Ticket. You're gonna write a bunch of tickets anyway. Right. Well, so he fails to yield for the police barricade. He went around me, so I stopped him, and then he decides so he that he fails to understand and explain to you. Yeah, that stopped him. When I started so, uh, around, I, started, I stopped. He went around, so I stopped him. I hit the hit the uh, siren to get him to stop. I failed he finally yield. stops I stopped. after he's beyond the, the barricade. So then he caught an attitude and he figures out we're gonna figure out where he's where he's going. So that's illegal. Good. I said, cool. so then get the hell out of here and just go. Felony? He decides he's gonna start burning that? his tires and taking off like crazy, and his tires starts, you know, he starts. You know, fish killing and all that, so that's Fishtail. why I call it the, 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 you got that on stuff. camera, right? So 
Awesome. We all carry body warm cameras. No, no. It's, it's, been, it's, been, it's been on since I, I talked to you the first time. So you got me fish town and losing control of the call, right? I got you peeling out and all that. I didn't hey, I don't have to talk. I left rapid here. Did not break traction. I hope you got that on camera because I'll see you in court. Okay. All right. With my lawyer. Maybe I'll be at McDonald's. With my lawyer. Suggested. Maybe you should be. Well, I'll go out to your court then with my lawyer. This guy's got an attitude, man. Are you from New York? Yeah. <laughs> he's got an attitude and he wants to jump out of the car like he's king. Well, no, the re we got this area I, blocked I out it. for a reason. I get it. I was up there, and I turned around and drove all the way around and to come Felix, back here. I had to mm -hmm. leave so I need to go right so here. I did see if you right. got my last in so I said another. I made a rap song for you on your subreddit, then it would mean a lot to me if you checked it out and let me know what you think. I figured out. He didn't even try to get out of the car right? when I went by. I was like, stopped right in front of his car. He didn't open the door, roll the window, nothing, so I started to go. Yeah, but you get, if we got barricades up, you can't just drive around the barricade. Well, people that, you can't go home? You can't go to the place you're supposed you to go? You have to ask him to see, to make sure that, because we can't verify and that until we the, talk to you. When he hit the thing, I completed my stop, and he gets out with an attitude. You don't see the patrol car? No, obviously I so, see it. I didn't crash into it. Well, the part is that you can't drive around the barricade to begin with. This is retaliatory because I gave him an attitude. He wouldn't have done this if I didn't give him an attitude. Oh, well, I mean, okay, okay, that... okay. He, he's right, but the thing is that they're both right. Nobody wins. You're just you being a bunch of bitches. You come across an attitude. You're not gonna like it, right? Supervisor, you requested a supervisor. Yeah. Wait, I didn't hear me. Do you want it's him true. on cam? I... It's true, but a lot of times you being right doesn't do shit. It doesn't help you Asked at all. Asked you for a supervisor at the beginning of this interim. Oh my right. God! I you didn't request that. one. I <laughs> just how it is. I uh, asked you to request a supervisor. Okay. It's on your body camera at the beginning of this stop. I will let him know what's going on. Now you want to do it and detain so, me longer? So here's your information. Drive yeah. around. Guys, if you think the world works like that, wait till you get a girlfriend. Holy. A detour barricade. It's $164. Fan fantastic. Good. Oh, God, days. It's fantastic. Am I signing? You're also got, uh, Am I signing? You also got any information. Am I signing? 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 How hard was that? Also, I'm not. You don't need a car. My name and badge is Lapointe six eight five four. I don't have to provide you any actual documentation. There you go, Pasco County Sheriff's Office. So that way you don't oh, forget that one. Okay. You still want a supervisor? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I'll I'll let them know. How long to do that? You're free. You want one or not? Which I'm gonna force. Do you want one or not? Oh, I don't want one. Okay. That's what I figured. That's why we didn't call one. I don't get it. You're all set. Have a good day. Good You're all set. Good I don't want you to talk yourself into handcuffs. Have a good day. Take care. Mr. Cardew continues to voice his displeasure about the stop to Deputy LaPointe, who tells him to move along before he talks himself into handcuffs, apparently threatening to arrest Mr. Cardew for his speech. Section 877.3. Oh, uh, I mean, dude. Okay, 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 okay. This YouTuber, I like him a lot, but I think he knows exactly what he's saying, though. If the guy says something really bad, he will go into handcuffs. Yes, that's ha that happens. Of the Florida statute states that, quote, whoever commits such acts as are of a nature to corrupt the public morals. If you threaten somebody, especially the law officer, if you say, if you, do, if you vocalize a threat, right? Yes, you go into cuffs. Or outrage the sense of public decency, or affect the peace and quiet of persons who may witness them, or engages in brawling or fighting, or engages in such conduct as to constitute a breach of the peace or disorderly conduct, shall be guilty of a misdemeanor of- This chat is so fucking stupid. This chat is just so fucking stupid. Yeah, there wasn't any threat. I just said, I just said, you can talk to some of the cops, it's a thing. You can say something that will make it, and you guys said question mark, and that's not true. And then I said, yeah, if you say a threat, oh, who's anything about a threat? Okay, if you make a blanket statement, you don't get the back out of it because of the specifics. You're fucking stupid. Like, what? ...of the second degree. But, as the First District Court of Appeal of Florida noted in the 1986 case of Delaney v. State... Holy quote, fuck, this shit is so stupid. ...the statute could, in certain situations, infringe upon the right to free speech, the court has limited its application to verbal conduct which falls outside the scope of constitutionally protected speech. In the 19... Huh? I don't get it. Certain situations infringe upon the right to free speech. The court has limited its application to verbal conduct which falls outside the scope of constitutionally protected speech. In the 1976 Hell, case of White v. State, the Supreme feats. Court of Florida explained that, quote, In determining the narrow line between constitutionally protected speech and that which is unprotected, it is imperative to consider the circumstances in which the words were uttered. The statute must not be construed to limit the use of a socially impermissible word mere 
merely as a tool of communication. Such expressions are constitutionally protected. The court then clarified that oral, nonverbal acts which infringe upon the rights of others to pursue their normal, lawful activities are not constitutionally protected, even when accompanied by the use of constitutionally protected words, and ultimately concluded that, quote, mere words used as a tool of communication are constitutionally protected. The protection fails yeah, as a tool of communication, exactly. Only when by the manner of their use, the words invade the right of others to pursue their lawful activities, or by their very utterance, they inflict injury or tend to incite an immediate breach of the peace. In uh, this- That, okay. That is so vague and blurry of a fucking sentence. You could literally go out in court and win with anything at all that that breaches the peace or tend to incite immediate breach. This is like, this is like, oh, I mean, you're gonna get smoked. Very uh, yeah, they inflict injury or tend to incite an immediate breach of the peace. Yeah, in and this it's situation, defense, sorry. I know Mr. Cardew did not engage in any conduct beyond arguing with Deputy LaPointe. Yeah, exactly. He remained in his vehicle, kept his voice at a reasonable volume, and did not take any actions to prevent Deputy LaPointe from leaving. As we have often discussed here on ATA, yeah, the enough. Supreme Court stated in the 1987 case of City of Houston versus... You're Canadian, bro. Shut the fuck up. I mean, listen, you're, you're never gonna make me feel bad for being Canadian compared to being fucking American. You will never make me feel fucking like I'm like I'm like I'm belittled or lesser than being in fuck being being a fucking American. What is wrong with you, man? What is wrong with you? I don't care be American or or Canadian, but you're not gonna make me feel bad for being one one or the other. Like, what are you talking about? What is wrong with this guy? Hill that, quote, the First Amendment protects a significant oh, amount of verbal criticism and challenge directed at police officers. And it is clear here that Mr. Cardew was doing nothing more than criticizing and challenging Deputy LaPointe's behavior. Therefore, a court would likely determine that Mr. Cardew did not commit disorderly conduct and could not be lawfully arrested for his speech. True. I agree with this 100%. Take care. Let's yeah, as a police officer, it's, it's their job and duty to fucking move on with their fucking lives and not be ego and do their jobs, and when the job is done, to move on. Even if the person is upset and annoying them and wants to be disruptive, baby. it's their job to know better and not follow the bait. They should know better, 100%. The job is done, they serve the public, the public has been served, moving on. End of story. Oh, I said I don't want you to do that. Go. No, 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 no. Go. You don't want me to talk myself into handcuffs for threatening me? No, I'm not, it's not a threat. What are you gonna arrest me for? That's an education of the law. You're all set. Have a good day. Eventually, both Deputy LaPointe and Mr. Cardew drove away, and Mr. Cardew was able to return home. During the encounter, Deputy LaPointe wrote Mr. Cardew three tickets. One for driving around a barricade, one for improperly starting a vehicle, and one for operating a motor vehicle without proof of insurance. Mr. Cardew has since claimed that one of the insurance cards he presented to Deputy LaPointe was unexpired, and has indicated that he intends to fight the all three of the citations. As of the date of this episode, court records show that all three cases are still pending. Overall, Deputy LaPointe gets a C minus because although he likely had reasonable suspicion to stop True. Mr. Cardew, he maintained a hostile and aggressive demeanor throughout the encounter, failed to call a supervisor. Also, maybe I'm a dumb fuck, Jeff, but I feel like he had a, also a, a risky uh, positioning for, for his safety uh, around the car. Yeah. Maybe I'm I don't know. Mr. Cardew requested one and seemingly threatened to arrest Mr. Cardew for constitutionally protected mm. speech. Additionally, it cannot be ignored that Mr. Cardew originally attempted to communicate with Deputy LaPointe before driving onto the closed street, both by using his turn signal and stopping next to the cruiser, and Deputy LaPointe did not respond to him. It is unclear why Deputy LaPointe failed to either notice or acknowledge Mr. Cardew, but it is evident that if Deputy LaPointe had simply taken the time to roll down his window and talk to Mr. Cardew, before he drove onto the street, this entire situation could have been avoided. Many interactions between officers and citizens occur outside the context of a formal traffic stop or detention, and Deputy LaPointe failed to take advantage of this opportunity to communicate with Mr. Cardew Real. before pulling him over. This encounter demonstrates the importance of proactive policing, and how officers can prevent unnecessary escalations by simply being aware of the citizens around them. Mr. Cardew gets a B, because what? all his frustrations what? Oh, okay, 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 dude, 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 audit the audit, let's fucking back it up, let's Deputy chill the fuck out, dude. ...situation were completely understandable. He demonstrated hostility throughout the interaction, failed to invoke his right to silence, and seemingly attempted to provoke Deputy LaPointe at several points in the encounter. While all of Mr. Cardew's speech was protected by the First Amendment, that does not mean it was productive or advisable. Here, Mr. Cardew- A lot of hand movements, a lot of hidden hands, getting out of the car. Dude, 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 
that dude Whose that, confrontational that's demeanor C, and that's initial C minus. refusal to comply with Deputy LaPointe's demand for his license, registration, and proof of insurance extended the length of the traffic stop and prevented him from getting home in a timely manner. Similarly, the aggressive manner in which he chose to that drive- That says not illegal. Dude, dude, why would you risk your fucking life? You know how the fucking cops are, man. You, you know the fucking- Dude, you know the, how, the, how, the, how fuck it goes like? Why would you, why would you, why the fuck would you risk your, your life to, hey man, cause I can do whatever I want, man, cause it's not illegal, bruh. What the fuck is wrong with you, man? What, maybe you're gonna be right, you're gonna be dead. What, what, what does that do for you? Off from the initial traffic how, that, how does that help you that you were right if you're dead? Up gave Deputy LaPointe reasonable suspicion to stop him again. And while I do not necessarily believe that pulling him over was necessary or appropriate, a court would likely side with Deputy LaPointe in any dispute over this issue. And Mr. Cardew kept his temper under control and calmly explained the situation to Deputy LaPointe. He likely could have way hit his hand. To JCS where they watch interrogations. Guys, I tried to, I tried to play the scenario, okay, in, in both eyes of both parties, okay? I just felt like, I just felt like, I, if I was an officer, if I was, if I was a this police officer, insurance. okay, I would not, I just wouldn't feel that easier, man. Just, just the way that he's, he's leaned in, you only see one hand t towards the side, and you don't see the other hand. I don't like that. What'd you stop me for? License, registration, you stop me and for? insurance. What'd you stop me for? What? License, reason for the stop. You'll find out as soon as I have your information. Supervise. And his attitude, his confrontational and whatever. What, what, what happens? If you pull out a fucking juice and you, and you go boom boom, then what? You'll find out as soon as I have your information. And I'll, and I'll give you it as soon as I get a supervisor. So you're failing, to, so you're failing to identify to yourself identify. at a traffic stop? I'm not failing to identify at a traffic stop. Okay, I video all you want, you're free. I have I the body cam since yeah, I stopped you in the first place. It doesn't disappear, it's, it's yeah. public record. I know it's public record. Did License, registration, and I'm right, lol w. Yeah, it's, 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 I, I, know, I know this chat's fucking it's being weird about this. Guys, at least said that the, the, the in this interaction they're both right and they're both wrong. I don't I don't agree with any of this. Chat's hundred percent wrong. I can explain, but it'd be too long. Well, it wasn't my perspective. It was it was my it was my perspective that this guy was being agitated. He was being very agitated, being out being outside the car during a traffic stop. Are you fucking crazy? That's like that's like the top three things on how to get shot. What is wrong with you, man? What's wrong with you? For the stop. You fail to yield to a That's how you get shot, man. You screech in your tires as you leave. You're driving fast. You're obviously frustrated. Yeah. So I'm asking for your license, your registration, and insurance on a lawful legal stop. Mr. Cardew refuses to provide his license. Man, man, this this chat is some fucking libtard bullshit. I'm gonna be honest. This is some absolute fucking hardcore radicalized left wing fucking Hassan Abi watchers tier three cock sucking fucking libtard cocksuckers. I actually cannot. I cannot. You guys actually cease to fucking think rational thoughts anymore, man. Holy dude.